700C and 622. Are they the same? Yes, yes, yes. I think 622 is 622mm, so 62.2cm. And I think it's the diameter of the wheel. I'm not actually sure where to. You know, it said something like, I've done a three minute Google search and it was where the inner wall meets the, oh, I don't know. Anyway, just to give you an idea, there's 62 point to something like that, you know. So, it's roughly from there to there, I would think, I don't know. You get the idea. But to make it even more confusing, 29 inch, you see that, I think in mountain bike tyres they talk about that. That's also the same size as these. But usually not the same width, it's usually a lot wider, I think, but but I don't understand that because 29 inch isn't 600, isn't 622 millimetres. 29 inch is like 74 millimetres, so I'm, I'm totally confused. There's that. I don't know. There's what 29 inch would look in my 700C wheel, but apparently they're the same. I wish we could all come together and just use the same, really the metric unit. This is the one we should be using. They call it the ISO one. It does that mean international standard? But we should be using 622. Personally, I use 700C because it's old fashioned, but we shouldn't be using that. Apparently, that's a French one that you know they came up with 100 years ago or something. 29 inch, 9 inch. I think this was usually a mountain bike talk or something. But now it's getting to the stage where people are mixing meals, you know. So, really. The two things you want to know about a wheel is, well, first of all, the size and also the width of what you can fit on it. You know, that's the two things. So come on, Americans, I like your American English. You made all those words simpler. Scrap your inches and move to millimetres. Move to metric. As for this, it probably doesn't even make sense. So I could be wrong, but in terms of diameter, these two are definitely the same. 29 inch, I just can't understand because 29 inch is like 74 centimetres or so. But apparently they're all the same diameter. Don't call me on that guys, alright? I'll just freestyle ramble about the wood sub tyres. That's not a diameter of tyres, so I'm not talking about 700C, 622 and that. I'm talking about, you know, whether your tyres 22 or 25 wood. 28, 32, because the Tour de France cyclists, they used to go as skinny as possible on wood, so that would be like 22 millimetres, maybe even 19, because when you go on a perfect road or a perfect track, thinner is faster. But what they found in with tarmac and stuff is rolling resistance is very important, and uh, plus it's uncomfy the thinner it gets. So nowadays you get the Tour de France cyclists doing maybe 28 millimetres in general, but some have gone up to 32 or maybe 32 at the back. And uh, maybe even some have gone to 35, I don't know, and that's getting a bit dingy. But my point there is, like, I think mountain bikes, they used to talk about in 29 inch, even though that doesn't make sense to me. And then, uh, actually, mountain bikes used to be like 26 inch, but now they've realised that probably, why not just go for a bigger wheel, you know, like uh, road bikes. So they've got a 29 inch one, which is probably becoming the most popular, I don't know. I'm just rambling ignorantly. But then you've got wide tyres and that, say 35 millimetres or above. Whereas uh, road bikes you used to, they called it 700C and your tyre would be really narrow, 25 millimetres or... 28, have you ever been luxurious, really nice to yourself? Whereas now, like I say, it's going up to 32 and maybe even 35, so they're all sort of meeting, you know. Although the mountain bike tyres have got lots of grip stuff in them, you know. So that's me rambling on this issue, you know. Uh, go for 622, guys. Can't we all just unite 622 millimetres? 
maybe that's why some tyres can be harder than others to get on, maybe because 622mm is very precise, with a 700c you could sort of mess that, I don't even know what it meant, it was something like when you pipe pumped up your tyre, I don't even know, maybe it was 70 centimetres when you pumped up your tyres or something, whereas a uh, 29 inch height, well millimetres is a lot more precise, so maybe if they all go 6 to 2, maybe the tyres will get easier. But like I said in another video, now the problem is with tubeless ready, they're, they're making the rims really as close as possible to the tyre, and that's making it harder to get them on. Alright guys, it's all over. Goodbye.